57 years ago, an alien race known as the Nunsuch attacked Earth and killed 95% of humanity. The survivors were forced to live underground and only a few ignorant stragglers refused to leave the surface. For anyone else, the only way to come back outside is to become a soldier and take a job at an outpost, where tours of duty last 100 days. Once the soldiers finish their training, they receive the usual speech about fighting for their future and a bunch of tanks take them to their respective outposts. On their way out, they watch how other soldiers drag the stragglers into a fort known as Exilium. Eventually the tank stops at the Cerberus outpost to drop someone, who fails to get inside the bunker because the door is jammed. Instead he takes the stairs to the watchtower and the computer pricks his finger to activate through DNA identification. The system congratulates him on the start of his service and reminds him of his duties, he must maintain the defense circle, monitor the security cameras, keep an eye out for the nunsuch, and if he sees any stragglers, he must take them to Exilium. Someone runs a system check and contacts his commander to report that he didn't find the soldier he was supposed to replace, but the commander explains that the previous guard had to be evacuated because of medical reasons. He also reminds someone that he must report every 12 hours and that he's forbidden to leave his operational area. Afterward, someone checks the dining hall and finds it in a messy state, even stepping on some broken glass. To settle in, he proceeds to clean up, arrange his rations, and polish the glasses. In the evening, he reports everything is in order and requires the code for the bunker. Since the entrance is damaged, he'll have to go outside and take an alternate door. Once he's inside the bunker, he's delighted to find a little bobblehead of Elvis and takes it for his desk. Next, he spends a few hours of the night keeping watch outside for any aliens while enjoying a cigarette. That night when he goes to sleep, he dreams of kids in white dancing around. From then on, someone goes through the same routine anyway. The system wakes him up and reminds him of how many days are left until the end of his service, then someone exercises on the balcony and has a shower, which reveals all soldiers have a special tattoo on their necks. This is followed by a system check, a territory check, and a meal made with very basic rations. During his first meal, he sees a shadow passing by and discovers there's a rat in the building, but it hides as soon as he comes closer. In the evenings, someone does his daily report and receives a new bunker coat, but he doesn't mention the rat. Every night he also keeps dreaming about the dancing children. Days start to pass and someone always goes through the same routine, which combined with the loneliness is starting to take its toll on him. After two weeks, he wakes up to find the rat on his stomach. Excited, someone grabs it and tries to keep it under his helmet for a better look, but as soon as he turns around the rat escapes. Suddenly an alarm starts ringing and the system alerts someone of an attack from the nunsuch near another outpost. Someone runs to the balcony and sees explosions in the distance while hearing from the computer that the stragglers rescued by that outpost were all killed. Just in case, someone double checks the security cameras and sees something moving in the bushes, so he reports it to his commander as a possible alien. However his boss dismisses it as some animal because the nunsuch aren't in his area. Some days later, the rat approaches someone while he's eating, and he manages to make it stay by offering some food. Now the rat has become his companion, so someone names it Doc. That day, an alarm alerts him of a malfunction in one of the cameras, and someone has to go outside to do technical maintenance. He's always keeping an eye on his surroundings and every animal noise he hears gets on his nerves. When he finds the camera, he fixes it quickly, but before he can leave he hears a weird noise and when he looks around he finds a tree covered with scratches. He decides to keep going and on another tree, he discovers a dead bird holding the tags of Vax-7, which is the name of the soldier he replaced. At that moment, the system alerts him of toxic emissions in the area, so someone puts a filter on the helmet and gets going again as he avoids the weird green smoke. However he stops when he sees a weird moss on a tree, and he's so curious that he takes his helmet off just to taste it. When he returns to the outpost, he reports everything he saw, but his concerns are dismissed. The commander assures him that Vax-7 is recovering in Exilium and blames the dead bird on a crazy straggler because the nunsuch don't attack animals. After hanging up, someone puts a knife between his arm and his device brace just to feel something. A few days later, someone goes out on another territory check and hears the alarm for toxic emissions. As the green smoke fills the area, someone discovers another dead bird on a tree and suddenly he hears those weird noises again. He turns around and is shocked to find a strange creature so he tries chasing after it, but the monster simply disappears. Afterward he tries reporting.